Understanding the health of a country's labor market is critical to maintaining a strong economy and providing the best services using tax income. The most commonly used indicator to assess the health of a labor market is the unemployment rate, but how is it calculated? Firstly, we need to divide the population into three groups, the employed, unemployed, and inactive. Unemployed people do not have a job but are looking for one. Inactive people also do not have a job but are not looking for one either. These include the discouraged unemployed, house husbands and housewives, the long-term sick and early retirees. The unemployment rate indicates the percentage of all those who are willing to work who do not have a job. In other words, it's a division of the unemployed by the sum of the employed and unemployed. In this calculation, the inactive are completely out of the picture. Two countries may have the same unemployment rate, but still a totally different number of inactive people. We can compare it to an iceberg. Although the unemployed are only the tip of the labor reserve, labor market policy in recent decades has focused rather one-sidedly on them. The much larger labor reserve of inactive people remains largely below the waterline. The employment rate is not an ideal indicator either. Although it shows what percentage of the entire population works, it does not tell us whether those people without a job are actively looking for one or not. However, this is important because the unemployed and the inactive face different barriers to employment and need different policies to help mobilize them. The alternative I propose is to use the iceberg decomposition, with which we can compare labor markets on the basis of two simple measures. Firstly, the unemployment to population ratio, which indicates how many unemployed there are among the entire population aged between 25 and 64. And secondly, the inactivity to population ratio, which indicates how many inactive people there are among this entire population. These figures represent the size of the tip of the iceberg as well as the mass of ice underwater. Immediately it becomes clear that a government has every reason to go out of its way to tempt these inactive people towards the labor market. To learn more, check out my article published in the International Scientific Journal Economic Analysis and Policy.